We're spying on little Busby. He's having his vegetables. So far the only thing he hasn't ate is tomato. Yesterday he finished his radicchio and pepper, so I'm not sure if he'll try tomato yet or not. Hello piggy people, so I just cleaned out Busby's cage for the first time. I didn't film it because I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it. He's very nervous if you're reaching in his cage to do stuff, so I did take him out. And I found it worked easiest to do the trick that I did with Velvet where I put a foam tunnel in there and as soon as he walks in I block either end with a hand and then pick him up like that. And then I just put them in a little carry cage while I clean the cage really quick. And that seemed to work out just fine. So now he's just got a nice fresh clean cage with his fresh hay. So he's doing really well. Uh, he's settling down more for not chewing the bars. He still loves to obviously look at all the pigs all the time. But he's not getting so wound up that he has to chew, 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 which is great. So when I spot clean his cage in the morning, that's the times where he's most nervous. Like he can't really decide where to hide. Which I is totally expected because he is a young pig. He does get neutered uh, end of October. And then he'll just have to wait two weeks to heal. And then he can be tried with the sisters. So normally after a neuter you'd wait like four to six weeks to make sure they're not going to get anybody pregnant but since the sisters are spayed he's just gonna have to wait till he's healed and that's it hi so I'm pretty excited about that um, otherwise like he seems to be doing great he's got a good appetite really healthy poops he finishes all his veggies he's not a hundred percent sure about tomato but eventually he eats it he really likes the pellets he's drinking good I really, really hope the sisters will accept him because he really, really wants to be with other pigs. So I'm hoping he's young enough and will listen to Annie. I think there's a good chance because he's probably just going to be really excited to have friends. But we'll find out because as I said, you never know. But whatever happens, we'll make it work out. It's just that would be the ideal situation. And then if he does go with the girls, I probably extend their cage to a three by probably three by six he's so cute aren't you just the cutest little man so I sat with him on my lap just for a few seconds just to pet him and he's fine if you have a good grip on him otherwise just like a baby pig if you're starting to loosen up he's got places to go but he doesn't like scream when you're picking him up or anything dramatic like that so that's great and he's easy to hold to like look at his tummy to look at his nails so he beats raisin for that so I find after you you spot clean his cage or like right now where I just fully cleaned it he does seem very hyper for like going this way going that way but what can you do And if anybody's wondering why am I getting him neutered if he's going with the sisters who are already spayed, I like to spay and neuter the pigs so that bonding possibilities are endless. So later in life he's already neutered if I want to pair him up with a female that's not spayed yet, that kind of thing. Also I do find neutering does stop some of their behaviors. So males love to scent mark and it's really stinky and anytime you clean a cage they scent mark all over the place. I find my neutered males don't do that anymore. And another big thing is I've had males who are seniors who get bad impaction 
so that you literally have to clean out their hind ends like twice a day sometimes and when you neuter them you're taking that away because literally everything in their back end shrinks up so that the poops come out super easy they're not getting lost inside an endless sack I guess that's the easiest way to say it so it's just going to be better for him it'll take some of the less desirable behaviors away because also for Huckle I find he rumble struts a lot less where before he was neutered it was just absolutely constant kind of bugging apple and I find he rumbles such less, he doesn't do any scent marking, and he has a clean bum. So that's what we want for little Busby. He's off in the back eating hay, so I don't want to bug him. It'll be nicer once I can get him bonded so that I don't have to have a lid. Right now I think the lid's so important because he would easily clear the grids. And you don't want him jumping into somebody else's cage section and having a fight. So anyway, one day when we don't have a lid, it'll be easier to see him. So I'm going to work on taming him so that hopefully if I open the lid, we can get better views of him. So he's just chowing down on his hay right now. Like he's great for, he's out and about and he's very active and now he's running around checking out this and that. So that's awesome. And I did catch him on camera sleeping in this corner while I was gone, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll get some better footage of him soon. I'll try to take some clips here and there and add them in. Bye guys! If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!